want to do the life side of uh, the portrait of Manuel. And the first mark I'm going to make is I'm going to take this mark here and looking for thinking this is going to be the top of his head. And I want to be it first going to be life side. This means I using my hand technique. If I spread out my hand like this, the top of my uh, pinky here is going to be his forehead and the bottom is going to be his chin. So I don't have the chin because it's covered by his beard. So I'm just guessing. Just guessing and I want to use the backgrounds too. So this looks right good for now. I just simply make a little mark here. Thinking that's his chin and his beard gonna come down this way somewhere around here. Um, so important to find now I have uh, top of the hair, the chin, and the beard somewhere around here. I need to measure it. But the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the central line because Manuel is tilted looking up. So that's very important to find this central line here so I can control the angles of his head. Also I have to control the composition as well. I'm gonna move just a little bit here. Ten and a half. You know, background over here and background over here. So I'm gonna move this line like that. For now, I have this. Only way to step back a few steps uh, away from your easel so you can see the proportion better. Make it this way, okay? So we can have top of the. This is the his top of his head, and you can see a little bit of. This is where the for the forehead touching the hair. He looking up, so we don't see a lot of hairs on top of his head. All right, so I have this. Make sure that right. Make sure one again. Looking good now. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle of his head includes the beard. So as I'm measuring that from here, pretending this, this is the chin, I'm going to think this is the nose. This is the, this is the portion of the nose because he's looking up. So this distance might be equal to this and maybe a little longer. Let me measure it. This is the meters of his eyebrow. And this is the bottom of the nose. And I can feel this is the bottom of the chin somewhere around here. And I will take a look again. Let's see. Okay. Good. It's very important to step, you guys. You have to be very patient, okay? Very patient and don't rush. You have to measure back and forth, back and forth. And if you don't like your drawing, uh, you can give them a tower. In this case, I can tap them off the pastel a little bit. So when I have the bottom of the nose here, the next step I'm thinking is the angles of the face. If the nose like this, they can symbol make a little bit. Just no detail, just make a little bit long, long mark. Uh, or you can say it's just a mark. You can make sure that you're doing, you know what you're doing. You know, so I'm just simple make a mark for now. You don't see much from here. 
at this eyebrow. You see, this line is very beautiful, and it's a straight line here. Actually, if I do like that, this window nose is going to be the same thing, a little bit parallel with this. And this is the beer here. Now, I want to make sure I measure the distance here, compare how far it's go to here. Okay, and then for my get this here, I can find how long the beer should be. When I measure it, so this distance is around here, it's equal, but the beer is slightly longer. So this is the bottom of the beer. That's from here. I get that. Okay, and this is the shape of the beer. I'm just simple make a suggestion it might be like this okay uh, I get the nose symbol now I have a little bit more confident to draw the light here is the bottom of the nose remember you guys the saga is very important in every case you're drawing even figurative a portrait the shadow very important in this case I'm just draw the shape of the shadow here under the nose Okay, make a mark here, top of his nose. From here, I can see his face kind of sticking out like that. It's not straight, but like a slightly stilted. It come along with the central line, like that. And here, and the beard, this is slightly move back, like that. Manuel have such a beautiful face, so amazing, like a sculpture. Make it very soft lines in here because I need. I know that I will have a lot of correction. So this is the forehead. Now it's curved like that. Just the symbol of the line for now. And I know that the cheekbone somewhere around here. This is the eye socket. There's a cheekbone sticking out a little bit. Then I will make sure that I have the light of the cheekbone here. So I have this distance from here to here. So now I need to find from the cheekbone here and to the ends of the ear how far it should be. Let's measure it. Somewhere around here, use my hand, turn around. It's just guessing for now, and I have to double check, okay? It's just, just the guessing for now, and this would be the ear. And I know that every time you draw a free hand, a lot of guessing involved. And we're going to compare the distance to the distance, you're going to find the, uh, the correct lines later, okay? So now I have the shape now. I'm looking for this is the forehead here is coming up a little bit. I'll try to do a trait line, okay? Don't don't focus on a curve line, but I'm doing a very simple trait line. And he have almost a perfect circle of hand here. I can just see what we'll make a little bit suggestion, maybe maybe it's like that. So that look okay. Look fine for now, and I would symbol make break in uh, inside the. This is I see the outlines of the head. 
time for me to break inside a little bit. So when you have more uh, smaller feature, then I can compare uh, uh, the feature together and find the correct line. And look at the shape in here. You can see that too, right? Look for negative shape, very important. This is a beautiful nose he had. When I met him in uh, Madrid, Spain, he's an uh, uh, artist himself, and I look at his face and I just like, wow, this guy has a stunning face. And I have to draw him. This distance here, try to connect it to find shadow. Only looking for the relationship, okay? Like for, I'm drawing this here, looking for the shape here, and it's coming back here. And I'm looking for the detail of angles of my pencil. And I can feel that the end of the eye somewhere around right here. Just make the mark. No need for details at this point, okay? This is the top of the bone here with the eye socket. And there is the bone. This is the side of his head. Like that. And the shape like that. And when I have this here, I can find line of the cheekbone. You can see I'm working just like and try to make sure I understand the cheekbone at all on the same level and the same balance. For me this is a more fun part when I start uh, do my, my work. Um, this is the most amazing part for me because it's so uh, so fun to see that nothing's on the paper and it starts showing something and then suddenly come out a face. Then the next step is to turn into the emotion face. This for me just for so amazing. Uh, when I was younger, I was watching my uh, my teacher drawing and I'm always amazed and somehow something not nothing there at all and suddenly comes something and become a portrait and the portraits can start you know talking to you it's kind of weird but it's amazing to me okay here you go so from here I can start breaking a little bit at the curve you can see now I can see the center light a, li a little bit more clear this from this here to come in here you can see the chin here is moving along then it's come with the beer and this come up top of the nose like this when it divide the, the nose if this is a frontal face you can see that center light divide uh, the head uh, the, uh, the whole face by half right you see it come along. It's very important, okay? Always remember it for me. Again, you have to man double, the, you know, double uh, measuring all the time. It means you have to continue to measure your drawing all the time. Okay, just like the ends of the eyes here, and there is his the hair connected. Then I start turning to the beard, and I look for that shape here. 
this way and say all the deer come in here but the main short is calm and down a little bit breaking it the body tail so now we have this like here the eyebrows is come the beautiful line in here the eyebrow is going straight get to the bone getting back down but I want to fry the top of the ear by using my pencil you see the angle and the ear is much lower than the lower lip it's over top of the nose, it's somewhere around here. At the top of his ear, because he's looking up, but he's looking straight. You might feel this here, the, the top of the ear here, it might light up with the eyebrow, but because he's looking up, so it's going lower. Everything is go like this, you know, when it's going, uh, he's looking up. Same thing, I have the bottom of the nose, and I can find out the lower ears could be around here. It could touch his mouth even lower. So it's somewhere around here. I should make a mark. I have a shape of the ear for now. Like that. Here is the deer. Just make a simple shape for now, okay? I'm not gonna go for detail. Not at all. When I have here, I continue, I saw that in the outside, in the back of his head here, uh, I still have to, I still need to measure them, I'll double check them again. Uh, it looks okay now. And this light is connect because it's like the whole skull is here. It's connect to the back of his neck. And we come back here. Always step back, okay? Always step back to see uh, the proportion. This deer come in and come back. Simple, beautiful shape of the deer. Again, I'm drawing the shadow. Everything here is in the shadow. Okay, now I can measure, I can see the shoulder, here's the elbow, the, the beard is a little bit, so the shoulder is just about here. So this neck. shirt color of his shirt and light the way he uh, looking up is so like a sculpture and I love sculptures and I think I will need to make the background by the sky um, looking up at the sky is to send out the message so this guy will you know the waiting for something waiting for a miracle waiting for something happen to his life uh, it's just your own taste, okay? As an artist, you, uh, you're not just um, drawing a, a person. You can send in a message. You can uh, make everything it's more traumatic as much as you can. Uh, it's your, it's you. Like that for now. I can see here is shape. If you are looking for that shape, let me see that is it for now. Right, so next um, I'm going to take care of his mouth. 
Let's see, I have the corner of the nose is here, make a mark here. Then I'm looking for this line here is symbol. Change the better pencil. When I do a demo like this, I have all my pencil ready. Just the same pencil, but uh, color, but many of them. So I don't have to spend time shopping them. Just save time for me and save time for you when you're watching me. Okay, I have this light here. And I find out this is a deer. You see, I'm used mostly straight line. This is a beautiful shadow of the nose. Fold in the middle, and then this is this mustache, the lip coming back down, and this is the lip right here. Okay, and that's why it's come along back corner of the mouth. Here is the deer coming out. See the shape of the deer, beautiful shape. I can't wait to fill it up with color. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, the marks in here. Things about plants, structure, form. You know that I'm drawing his plants right now. I'm not just drawing the detail. I'm thinking about three dimensional. So that's a very important for an artist to think about three dimensional all the time. Okay. This here nose come in. Have to pay attention to all of the form. And here I get the symbol shading them a little bit. No need for detail there yet. Same thing with the eyes. I was just drawing the shape. A beautiful plan in here. You see that different plan that come. That. You see like a sculpture. Make the plan is clear so you can see what I'm doing. Top of the eyebrow. The shadow coming down. This is where the eye started. Make a little landmark. The eye coming back. Maybe it comes in lower than before. And here. I'm looking for the distance to the corners of the eyes here. Like that. And I know that's it. the upper lip is somewhat here. Then I just seem, you know, simply cover them with a light shade like this. So this is the lower lip information in here, lower lip here. And this is the bottom of the eye socket. It's very important to have the uh, 
It's for a mature man, it show more. So when you are younger, it show less. Uh, when you are a teenager, or you in your 20, uh, you don't see that much of this. But when you get into your late 40, or it starts showing, okay? That's the process of life, okay? Of life, I mean. Yeah. The beauties of it. The wisdom, is what I say, that my mom say that, it's showing, right? Oh, the wrinkles just start showing. Well, it's important to remember that I'm the same level. I can march in here. And this is another side. Let's see what shit in it for now. Detail will come later, okay? Make sure that I know that there is a bone here. Bone structure. Forehead come. Coming back. The technique also called block in, okay? Blocking in. We block in the shadow, we block in the shape. Uh, or some others, they like to draw the outside first and start break in to more detail. The inside detail is it called the envelope technique. They are a bit more similar to me, uh, whatever you call. Uh, the main thing is don't pay attention to the detail at first. You need to think about the big shape and then the small shape or you can call that from general to specific, okay? Don't jump in to draw detail. Uh, I have seen others doing this, this is okay. Uh, some others, they're very good at uh, drawing so they can um, do that. But when you're just a beginner, uh, I suggest you should be pay attention to uh, the shape and form, detail is the last thing you should worry about.
see that from when I'm working like that, I can see I can remove the ears a little bit smaller. You see the connection here. I can see that the ear should be slightly smaller. So again, when I have all the feature um, showing, so I can compare. So in this case, I compare the distance from here to here and to here. So I know that the ear should be a little bit smaller. The soon will make the shape worse, okay? And I will work in on the detail later on, but now I'm just working on the shape of the ear. Like this, filling in, filling with color. And the ears should be tiny coming in, coming back. Remember, you're just doing portrait. Don't forget to learn how to draw ear. Um, lots of artists, uh, they do beautiful eyes and nose, but they're very lazy to learn how to draw ears. So ears are also important too. It's a pause of the hair. They're not very pretty to look at, but they are there. There you go. Uh, this is for the first uh, uh, 30 minutes. Uh, I um, uh, have this uh, structure, uh, the proportion, and time for me to um, uh, make sure that all the proportion look right, and uh, I will come back. Okay.